All right, let's do a quick walk around of this. We'll first take a look at the magazine. Now, uh, this is a Gen 4, so it's gonna come with three magazines. Again, all three are 15 round magazines of 10 millimeter. That's actually pretty impressive. We'll take a look at the 10 millimeter cartridge here in just a moment. But to get an appreciation for the features of this guy, now it is pretty standard fair Glock in terms of Gen 4, especially as far as the grip texture goes. Uh, now it does have interchangeable back straps like you would expect with the other Gen 4s out on the market. And then we've got our finger grooves right here. Not everybody uh, necessarily likes those. Uh, but I will say one thing that I noticed, and I'll talk more about this in the shooting experience, the grip on this is, it's pretty big. It's certainly bigger when you handle something like maybe a Glock 19 or even a 17 or something, and then you get your hands on this. You can tell right away. It's just, it's wider. It's a little bit longer. So it's a beefier uh, grip all the way around. And, uh, and there were some struggles with that. Again, I'll get into a little bit more in a moment. Now we do have a bit of an internal flared mag well the camera can never really picture or uh, pick that up very well but it is definitely there it's something that I find really handy especially if you want to speed reload or anything like that um, and then we've got a little bit uh, of a uh, of kind of a lip here at the bottom now I've got guys I wear large gloves um, so I've got average large hands so just to give you an idea of where my hand sits with this maybe I'll bring that uh, 19 back here in just a moment to kind of compare again uh, but as we move up the frame again largely standard fare with Glocks we've got our normal uh, basic lack of beaver tail right here and then we've got our magazine release of course not ambidextrous out of the box but you can swap them like you do other Glocks and same is true with your slide lock slide release since again this is not a Gen 5 they don't have a Gen 5 for the uh, 40 or at least at the time of this uh, filming here so not ambidextrous uh, with this and then we've got our three pin design uh, as you would expect with any of your Gen 4s and your standard takedown of this guy may take it down for just a moment or two so you can get kind of an appreciation for the <laughs> length of the barrel on this thing. Uh, it is truly large. And then we do have a pretty good size accessory rail for all your toys, your tiny ninjas, chainsaws, lasers, hacksaws, all that kind of stuff, whatever you like. And then we do have a little bit of grip here on the trigger guard as well. So again, pretty standard fare for a Glock frame. Again, just being a little bit bigger. Uh, where we're going to see the bigger changes, of course, is in the slide. And speaking of slide, let's walk around this thing as well. Of course, we do have our rear serration. We are absent of any, of any uh, front serrations. Again, Gen 4 on this one. Um, I think the Gen 5 34 maybe now has some front serrations from what I understand, which is kind of cool. Uh, now we do have uh, no dust cover as it goes all the way across. This hole again is for uh, changing out your front sights, that sort of thing. It does reduce a tiny bit of weight as well. But I will say, man, the slide on this thing is incredibly long. Now, I've got uh, some experience with Glock 34s. I used to compete with a 34 years ago. And um, and this thing is a little bit longer than something like a 34, 35. So we're not quite in 17L territory, I believe. Now, I don't have one on hand. But uh, but this is this has got to be pretty darn close, if not right neck and neck with it. So you guys that have the uh, 17L, you're going to have to chime in and let me know if this is pretty darn comparable. Now, as you can see, again, we do have the MOS back plate on here. Uh, this does come with and I actually have them right here. Um, he has not used these yet, but uh, the Glocks come with these back plates, so you can put a variety of different red dots, whether it's Trigicon or Vortex, Burris, uh, Leopold, anything like that. So you definitely do have some options. You know, I'm actually a big fan of the uh, MOS system. I know some people aren't. Uh, they'd rather mill it out so it can be a little bit lower so that red dot can sit lower on the frame, which I totally understand. Uh, but for uh, for many users, the MOS system actually does do pretty well. So. Um, I like that. I've certainly enjoyed it on the uh, 19. Now, in terms of sights, a mile and a half down there, we do have just standard Glock sights. That's what you would expect for this. Now, the rear is adjustable, which is kind of nice. We do have an adjustment point, a couple of adjustment points right here. Uh, it's going to be hard for the camera to pick those guys up, but they are there for sure. And, um, and I did find that this thing was unbelievably accurate. Now the sight radius is about as long as a cannon. Uh, so, so you definitely, you have some wiggle room there and uh, the gun will stay pretty darn accurate, which is really nice. So, uh, guys, there's your slide on that. You can see, I mean, it has definitely been used. Uh, this is Alaskan ballistic sidearm. Uh, uh, hopefully the bears aren't attacking him right now since I've got his, his sidearm, but, uh, this will be going back to him very soon. But, uh, let's take Take this thing apart and see what's going on on the inside. 
All right, let's take a look and see what's going on on the inside of the Glock 40. You do need to pull your trigger, and then once you do, take your slide about an eighth of an inch back, pull down on your takedown tabs on both sides, as you would expect. All normal standard fare for Glocks. Now, we do have a captive, gigantic uh, guide rod and spring assembly. That thing is actually pretty big. But the, the best part about this thing has got to be the barrel. I mean, this thing, this thing is absolutely huge it's absolutely huge i mean just to just to give you kind of an idea there's my hand and again large hands so i i mean this thing <laughs> This thing is awesome. I know I'm making a little bit of a fuss about it, but it just, uh, it's fantastic to see some of these longer slide Glocks, especially after working with like the 43X or something like that. Otherwise, pretty standard fare on the inside. Now, if you're going to be doing work on something like a, a Glock 40 or a Glock 21, 36, uh, actually 30, any of those, uh, there are going to be some different parts that you're going to have to consider as well as sights, that sort of thing. Um, so uh, be sure that you are getting the right parts for the right gun. So everything Thing works properly, the sights work properly, all that kind of stuff. So I uh, might have to take a little bit of research with that, but uh, putting it all back together, it's all, again, pretty standard stuff if this thing will cooperate on camera, which sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But we are good to go. So a brief look at the inside of the Glock.